Welcome to This Week in History, hosted by the Clinton Public Library. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified for future videos. In this video, we will cover the history of the Clinton High School. The information was gathered from the Clinton High School yearbooks and other documents found in our local history room. A special thanks is given to our patrons that shared photos of family members and themselves during their time at Clinton High School. The first school building in Clinton was built in 1852. It was a two-story building, the lower floor being used as a school and the upper floor used by the lodge. In 1881, that building was tore down and a four-room structure was erected in its place. By 1892, two rooms were added to the back and four rooms added to the front. This building will be later used as the Central School and it was located at 4th and Blackman Street. The Clinton High School was established in 1886 and occupied a portion of this building until 1901. In 1900, a high school building was built on the east part of the schoolyard located at 3rd and Blackman. Tragically, in 1903, the high school building burned down. The fire had started in the basement of the school building. The school had been closed for the holidays since the Wednesday before. According to the building janitor, John Galloway, no firing of the furnace had been done since that day. He was doubtful that a spark from Wednesday's fire could have lasted long enough to spark the catastrophe on Saturday. The cause of the high school fire was finally determined to be tramps who entered the building to escape the extremely cold and snowy weather. They had started a fire which apparently got out of control. Final determination of the cause was made when two skeletons were found in the ruins of the high school building. The full newspaper article is available at the Clem Public Library's digital archives. During the summer of 1904, the Clinton High School building was rebuilt and used until the second semester of the 1918-1919 school year. The high school was moved to the new building at 3rd and Mulberry Street. The junior high school was organized in the former high school building. The urgent need for buildings is due to the rapid growth of population in Clinton and this growth of population is caused by the industry and the economic progress in and around Clinton. Conditions were greatly improved with the building of the first unit of the new Clinton High School. This enables the superintendent of the schools to organize a junior high school, including all the pupils in the city in the 7th and 8th grade. Bringing all these students into the old high school building, the congestion in the grades was greatly relieved. The new high school building has injected new life into the student body who now have comfortable and beautiful quarters in which to work. During this time, the high school stadium that was used by the football and baseball team was located at Sportland Park. The basketball team used the Coliseum, located at the 700 block of South Main Street. Here are some photos from the 1922 yearbook. The 1924 yearbook has a photo of the Aragon Pool. Here are some more photos from the 1926 and the 1927 yearbooks. In the 1930 yearbook, it mentioned the addition of lights at the football field. The townspeople greatly appreciated night playing because it gave them a better chance to see the games. Quote taken from the 1931 yearbook. We offer no apologies for this, our book of memories, nor do we seek praise for it. 
Its sole purpose is to remind us of those delightful years spent within the protecting walls of dear old CHS. Within these covers, we have tried to preserve all that is best of school life, its friendships, its achievements, and its memories. Construction began in 1936 on the new gymnasium. The school gymnasium opened in 1937. The consolidation of the former high schools in Dana, Hillsdale, and St. Bernice happened in 1961. In 1966, a multi-purpose room was built next to the gymnasium. After 91 years, the Clinton High School officially closed in 1977. A new building was built forming the South Vermilion High School. The Clinton High School building was turned into the South Vermilion Middle School, housing 6th through 8th grade. This building continued to be used until the new building next to South Vermilion High School was open in 1995. When it was announced that the old Clinton High School building was going to be demolished, a group of CHS alumni formed a committee to create a memorial to the Clinton High School. During demolition, the crew was able to save the namestone of the building so it could be used in this memorial. In 2014, the memorial was built. The class of 1954 raised additional funds to add wooden benches to this area. The Clinton Fire Department now occupies the corner of South 4th and Mulberry Street. The Fire Department, along with the Vermilion County Community Foundation, manage and takes care of the upkeep of the memorial space. The Clinton High School Gymnasium building is still open and now being used as a community recreation center. The CRC is available to be rented for events and they host adult and youth programs throughout the year. The multi-purpose room next to the gymnasium is now the Valley Daycare. Last, I would like to share a message from the 1977 yearbook. This year marks the last year of the Clinton High, and even though this brings great joy to many, it also brings a touch of sadness. CHS isn't merely a group of four buildings on a block. It's a combination of all the traditions, victories, defeats, and students who have passed through its doors on the road to their future. It's the names written on the desks and the numbers on the smokestack. The sound of the old gold and black victory bell ringing through your ears. The band striking up the first notes of the school song and the tears shed at the commencement exercises. Its memories held in the hearts and minds of many graduates. CHS has survived the Roaring Twenties, the Depression, two world wars, and days of greased back hair, and 59 Chevys. The innumerable homecoming bonfires and the football games, which is one of Clinton's proudest traditions. Every school has a personality and it takes years to develop it. It's not the hollowed building and the empty parking lots. It's what fills these buildings. The students, the teachers, the happenings, and the memories and traditions. As we go through the final days at CHS, I hope we can appreciate it all for all that it's been and is. The close of the Clinton High School marks an end of an era, but we all have our memories to cling to. I'm just glad I have mine. This was written by Nancy Simpson, class of 1977. Thank you for listening to This Week in History.